So today, we have a newcomer to the horror genre taking on a horror icon. Uh, Gabriel from Malignant taking on Halloween himself, Michael Myers. Who wins? Let's find out. So, we have to talk about physicality, starting off with strength. And Gabriel is definitely superhuman. Even as a kid, he was always able to kill several adults through brute strength alone. He's casually overpowered people, sent them flying, hold them high in the air with just one hand, and to rip them apart with just his bare hands. He's easily kicked through a brick wall, easily hurled this chair across a large room, uh, easily broke bones and caused compound fractures with simple sh hits, and he even sent or flipped over this big hospital bed. But Myers has also casually overpowered people, uh, casually holding them high in the air with just one hand, stabbing through a dude and a door behind him with a butcher knife, uh, breaking their necks and jaws with just one hand, and decapitating them as well with just no effort. He's easily walked through glass uh, and uh, wooden doors, smashed through walls, and broke a key lock. He even pushed or destroyed a an entire kitchen counter. Uh, I'd say they're on the same playing field in terms of strength. What about durability? Well, Gabriel only has one real feat here, and that's when he barely noticed or barely felt being shot in the arm. It also seems this guy has some sort of healing factor, as the wound was gone just a few hours later. But you also have to remember... Gabriel took over Madison's body. And Madison is a small, fragile woman. So, you can't, uh, I don't think there's going to be much durability to uh, Gabriel here. Uh, but Michael, on the other hand, whew, he's, another, he's on another level. He's withstood being stabbed downward on his shoulder, uh, being shot in both eyes, being stabbed and shot in the neck, um, a house fire, a barrage of gunfire, followed by a massive fall and a massive explosion. This guy just doesn't die. He just doesn't, and is definitely more durable than Gabriel. And now moving on to speed. So when it comes to speed, Michael is kind of like Jason Voorhees, in that he's routinely just disappeared from people's line of sight, despite no clear way of doing so. He's also dodged a bunch of knives, being thrown at him while he was getting closer to the thrower, and he's even dodged a bullet before. But that's nothing on Gabriel. You see, he can dislocate every bone in Madison's body, giving him just extreme agility and speed. He casually and easily performed several acrobatic and parkour moves, as well as dodged and flipped through gunfire, being fired from multiple angles, and bullets at close range. Yeah, Gabriel is definitely taking this edge for sure. Uh, there's Michael cannot compete anywhere near that speed or agility. So, Michael is much tougher, while Gabriel is much faster and much more agile, and has a healing factor. Something else about Gabriel, despite being a parasitic twin to Madison, and her not having any sort of training, training herself to speak of, Gabriel is an expert and brutal combatant who makes full use of his acrobatic abilities. He absolutely slaughtered a jail cell full of female inmates, like a dozen of them, who were bullying Madison. He also skillfully took out an entire police precinct in bloody fashion without even being tagged once. Trained cops, an entire precinct of them, didn't even get hit, not even one time. Myers isn't a skilled fighter, but he is very skilled in stealth and stalking, again, kind of like Jason. Uh, as for weapons go, Gabriel will have his dagger, and Michael will have his iconic butcher knife. So, who wins? Can the newcomer to the horror genre take on the iconic Michael Myers. Well, I'm gonna say no. 
Yes, Gabriel would definitely land more hits and dodge more attacks due to his greater speed, agility, and skill. And this will definitely give Michael a hard time, seeing that he's never really fought something like this. Something this acrobatic and skill skillful. But I said it earlier, Michael doesn't die. I don't know what they did to him to in that asylum, or maybe it's because he's just psychotic and sociopathic, but he just doesn't die. He would, ha Gabriel would have to uh, deca decapitate M Myers, and I'm just assuming that would work. On the other hand, Gabriel just hijacks Madison's body. Like I said earlier, small and fragile. Yes, he does have that healing factor as well. But we didn't see much from it, and it seemed like it could have took a couple of hours for that bullet wound to heal. So, it's not like it happened immediately. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm siding with Michael on this one. He's, he's just as strong, if not stronger. Man just doesn't die. And I'm sure he's fast enough to at least hit a strike on Gabriel. At least a few of them to put him down. Michael Myers wins. Like and subscribe if you did enjoy, leave a comment of what you think, and hit the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos and all the great stuff. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.